late January, and the monarch butterflies have found their way home. They've entered a hibernation state, huddling together for warmth. But they're only here at all, thanks to one of the most accurate biological clocks found in nature. These are the pine and oyamel forests, high altitude, about, what, three hours northwest of Mexico City, and one of the few wintering grounds of the monarch butterflies, as you can see. But there is a colony of millions of monarchs somewhere due north of here. So if I head off into the forest, then hopefully this will just be a, a taster of what's to come. To find the butterflies, I need to get an accurate bearing on them. And to do this, I need a timepiece. If you don't have a compass, how can you tell which direction's north and which direction's south? Well, you can use the sun. The sun rises in the east, sets in the west, and at midday in the northern hemisphere, it's due south. But what if it isn't midday? Well, there's an old trick, which is to use a watch. See, it's about three in the afternoon now, and if you line the hour hand of your watch up with the sun, then in the northern hemisphere, a line in between the hour hand and 12 o'clock will point due south, which means that north is that way. For thousands of miles on their way here, the monarchs have faced the same problem. To make their way south, it's no good simply following the sun. Because as the day progresses, the sun's position drifts across the sky. Somehow, they have to correct for this. what's called a time-compensated sun compass. They measure the position of the sun every day using their eyes, but it's also thought they can measure the position even when it's cloudy by using the polarization of the light. Having locked onto the sun, their brain then corrects for its movement across the sky by using one of nature's most accurate timepieces. By combining the information, from their precise clocks and their eyes, they can navigate due south. That ability to orientate themselves is, I think, one of the most remarkable things I've seen 